I'd like to introduce our next speaker. We have Carol Ramsey on the stage. Carol Halio Ala Ramsey. Let me make sure. I, Carol Alio Ala Ramsey. No matter how many times I say it, I so know. is a mouth. I know. Is a mouth. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> uh, and I'm sure you had your numbers done before you figured that one out, huh? Or that was gifted to you. That was your call. Your call. Your call name. Oh, actually, uh, I, I'd like to speak with Julian at one point, you know, um, I was, I was very impressed <clears throat> at the depth, you know, so let me introduce you. Let me introduce you and then you can get. Oh, going. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't see much of her bio here. Is there any more than that? What's, where, where is it? Let me see. I thought you had a longer bio than that. Um, I, do. I do, but you know, it gets, if it's too long, people don't believe it. Well, I will look, I will look for where your bio is. Okay. So Carol is a spiritual counselor, energy expert, born empath and fully sentient medium, healer, remote viewer, Usui Reiki and other uh, energy transformative modalities. She mentors starseeds and pure spirits and experience a human life. She's the only psychic who guarantees her work. She's also uh, one of my Reiki teachers, masters, and she's located here in South Florida. And if you are in South Florida, she's very uh, motivated and, and passionate about her work. And she can combine uh, Reiki one and two in the same day. Same day. Right? So, yeah, you can knock it out and be a healer in, in a weekend. So uh, welcome, welcome to the stage, Carol. And uh, Carol will be joining us on our new he uh, Healers Network Club, which will be starting on Tuesday nights at seven o'clock on Zoom. Um, we'll have guest speakers, we'll have Q&A, we'll have opportunity for networking, um, community and supporting each other be uh, until the next event happens in a month. So uh, you got the stage um, until um, 7.30. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, hello, everybody, and um, this is such a fantastic time to really shine. And last month, we were talking about lightening up. And I heard Julian saying something similar, like, stop worrying. And it's, we're all getting similar messages. I think it's all the same message, but we're all interpreting it differently because that's who we are. We're unique in our own ways of living our life. And that was the purpose of the divine to live through us and to experiencing life differently. And so just let, before I begin, just let me tell you a little bit about uh, these beautiful beings of light who uh who introduced themselves to me and it was in march 2020 when um we were placed in our homes and so you know i i was doing work one-on-one -on -one with people all the time and i had a place where i would do the work and now it's like okay listen you want me to do the work do your work uh, what am I going to do now? So I went into meditation. I would meditate daily, but this time it was even deeper. I mean, <laughs> what do I have to lose, right? We're in the house. So I would just let go. And they showed me that when we do let go, when we stop just trying to control everything and just let go, and my issue was always time. And I heard eventually that everybody is allotted the same amount of time. So it's not that you're running out of time, you're just not focused. So with this in mind, I went into a deeper, the deepest meditation I've ever been in. And so my frequency changed as everything is frequency, we're all 
vibrating at different rates. And so because I just let go, I vibrated at such a high frequency that I was able to connect with very high frequency beings who later told me they came from, they are in the seventh dimension. What that means, who knows, you know, it's all about consciousness. It's all about uh, getting to the truth. So that's what I believe the lower your frequency is, uh, the less light that you are embodying. And so when I have these beings of light within me, I don't want to breathe, I don't want to eat, I don't want to sleep, I don't want to move. Because the bliss is in every cell of my being. And so when they are talking about lightening up, it's about letting go. And so when they appear to me, they told me, okay, we're going to work through you. We need your mind, we need your voice, and we need your heart. And we are going to help people. You are going to advertise this. And I didn't know anything about what was going on in COVID. <clears throat> the people who were losing their jobs, who would eventually lose, lose some jobs and become very uh, insecure. So they told me they're going to channel through me for about 44 minutes and they're beings of light who told me they were 44 of them all in one as a collective. So I asked, how, how much am I going to charge for this? And they said, $44. So I said, well, there must be a reason to charge such a small amount and so I just went with it and I was busy like I never was busy in my life because I was doing over six, um, over six recalibrations, that's what they called it, recalibrations a day, sometimes uh, six days a week. So, and it was, it was wonderful. And the people would come back and they would have such incredible incredible uh, stories to tell afterwards of healings. Uh, just the fact that, you know, everybody who's listening to this live program, as well as when it will be virtual, everybody has and will most probably in the future uh, experience uh, anxiety of, of some sort. And so when you free yourself of anxiety, when you're not worrying, when you know that you are safe, when you know that everything is well, all is well, you let go. And that's when the miracle starts. That's when the magic starts. And that's when the true happiness to create your life occurs. So without further ado, I'm gonna take a few good uh, breaths and we'll invite our friends in so that they can talk with you. And we have 45 minutes. So we will have time for a Q&A. So I would invite you to ask your questions as we go. And that's fine. So I'll see you later. We are so pleased to be here with you. And we are back. We are back. There is no time. There is no amount of time. There is no measurement of anything where we are. And yet we feel as if we we're speaking with you and feeling you and loving you just yesterday. Because you know we are always with you. 
And yes, we call ourselves something because here in your world, in your existence, you need language to communicate. And this in the long run or the short run <laughs> will not exist any longer for you once you are free of your ego mind. And this is what we would like to discuss a little bit more of is the ego mind. And the ego mind exists only in that which has duality. And the ego is what is keeping you in fear of change, of any change. And once you release this by just allowing yourself to move one foot ahead of the other, without fear, you will realize that there is so much of you to love. You will realize there is so much of you that is more than enough. Because the core belief of humanity is that you are not enough. You don't have enough. And so therefore, everyone is running all the time, running towards something, and sometimes simultaneously running away from something. And this is subconscious. And so that is why in the recalibration technique that we have created for humanity at this time, this is a technique for the cellular memories of all. Because many of you who are light workers, star seeds, have experienced mental or emotional issues with your life. Some have sought out professional help. And it is always difficult to change the habits that we have. For some, it is more difficult than others. And so now we are being challenged, humanity is being challenged with letting go because the light is aiming for all of creation to change. And so it is pushing pushing for the darkness and the darkness is the cellular memory is the ego mind that wants everything to remain the same which is impossible even without the ascension process experiencing being human is all about change because it's all about making a decision. Am I going here or there? Am I turning left or right? Am I eating this or that? Am I getting out of bed this morning? There's always questions in the human mind. And now more than before, because everything is being questioned because of the changes that are all around you. Some of them are personal. Some of them are professional. Are you going to move to another home? There are so many questions and so many people are being uprooted. Why? Because because humanity has settled 
and especially here, all the people in North America and parts of South America as well, the Northern Hemisphere especially, has been gifted with so much freedom compared to other countries, other continents. And so where there is a lot of freedom, there is a lot of choice. And because you have been born into this lineage, all of these choices that have been given to you have created the most gifted light workers because the freedom has created all of these different experiences for you to realize and move into your own light. And most of the light workers have not had a wonderful childhood. And so that is why we are speaking with you now, because everything, there was a reason for everything. And by lighting, lightening up is by letting go of the fear of being different, of doing things differently, not for others, but for yourself, imagine taking risks of doing something differently. Saying yes to life is your gift to yourself. And so we would like to come back to the recalibration sessions that we have created for you. And talking about cellular memory, which is very important, the cells that you have in your body all have, everything has a consciousness. Every cell, every atom, every molecule, every part of you has consciousness. And the information that flows through your body flows through the fascia. The fascia is the root, R-O-U-T-E, the root where all the information flows. Flows from your higher self, flows from your former lifetimes, flows from your lineage, from your parentage. All of this mixed up information is flowing to you and through you in this beautiful, magical, and very magnetic, glutinous substance that is just under your skin. That is why it is so important for everyone to hydrate as much as possible, to keep yourself moist so that the information can come through. Because so many of you are awakening so fast. Some of you have awakened and the process continues because remember, you are limitless. And so even if you believe and you think you are enlightened, because you are a healer, or you are a channeler, you are this, you are that, you are helping others and creating the results and beyond. You are still limitless. You are still a child in learning how to be that limitless 
divine source within you as human in a human body. So to experience limitlessness within limitation is the gift that you are learning to express. And so your signature, as a human signature, it would be your name when you sign your name, and your energy signature is encompassed in many different um, facets, like the different facets of a diamond. So the different facets of you, of your energetic signature are through your chakras, the chakras of light. When all of your chakras are open, how do you feel? And so now with the recalibration session that we give you, one of the things that we do once you are open, you are raised into the seventh dimension of light, of knowledge. And so as you are raised into this consciousness of totally pure love, you reconnect with more chakras of light because your body of light connects with your physical body of light. And so the additional chakras, if you can just imagine and visualize them, just imagine now that all of your seven chakras are open. Your root chakra is blazing, a beautiful dark red. Your second chakra is open on both sides. In front and in back is a pure crimson red. Your Solar plexus opens up front and back, a beautiful golden light radiating and shining. Your heart chakra opens up front and back and feel the heat through your back now, moving all through your nervous system in your spine, emerald green, shines forth through all of eternity now, because this is your connection with your divinity. And moving higher up into the blue, your blue throat, that blue chakra of light, so that you can communicate to yourself, to your divinity and to others from loving kindness, as you realize that you are here to serve others, to serve the light within others. That is why we are all here, you know. And moving up higher still, and now we are in the pineal gland, opening up to the beautiful golden light within your mind to connect with the mind of God. And as you look, as you gaze inward and upward, there is only light, there is only golden brilliance. And now above this golden crown, we are placing three orbs of light, the eighth, ninth, and 10th chakra of light. 
One is your celestial signature. The other is your star seed signature connecting with other planetary beings who are here to guide and support you. Mm -hmm. And in the center, a direct communication from your higher self to your source, the infinite, that which created all of creation, including itself. And now for the 11th and 12th chakras to be opened are above your knees. Now appearing two beautiful golden orbs of light that are melding into your lower body through your knees. And this will allow you to move forward into a beautiful future that you cannot even anticipate right now. And this will show you the way. And then finally for the 13th chakra is an orb, a beautiful mossy, mossy golden light. And this is to connect you with mother earth for your physicality. And this connection will allow you to know without any doubt what your body is craving to remain in the highest frequency possible so that you can heal what needs to be healed, so that you can learn what needs to be learned, so that you can love what needs to be loved free. And to raise your frequency so that you can love the infinite. Make the infinite the love of your life so that you can radiate and remain in the highest frequencies possible. And your body will tell you what it needs through cravings and it does this doesn't mean you need to change the way you eat or drink. Whenever you have these cravings, it will just allow you to have a bite or a taste, a sip, so that you, your energy will be raised and rebalanced. It's all about rebalancing, balancing yourself. And so as an adjunct for this, there are many of you who are Reiki practitioners and other types of healing modalities. We recommend that if you do, to practice five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day. And so in between the recalibrations, which we suggest perhaps once a month. That is why we have made everything so affordable to you. And you will see the difference as you can feel the difference now as we speak with you from the highest place of love. And when you are embodying this frequency of love and limitlessness, you know that all is possible. And so you may want to try something different, one step at a time, because it's time for change and it's time for you to fly. It's time for you to truly fly and to do what you have always wanted to do or done or be whatever you wanted to be, but, but there was always a but. Well, 
I'm not ready. Oh, I have to wait. There's always an excuse to not be happy. Now is the time to be happy. It's the time to go within and realize that everything is inside of you. You don't have to be the materialistic person that so many have become to be happy because that kind of happiness never lasts. The only lasting happiness is that from within. And so if you meditate, good, continue. If not, find yourself a meditation group or a meditation that you followed in the past that resonated to you, that you enjoyed. And meditate daily. Find that center, find that quiet place, find that which is not coming from fear. And the more that you practice, with your limitlessness and making the limitless, the divine, the love of your life, you will become inventive. You will have an imagination and the outlook of a child because a child who has not experience the world, but only love. From mom and dad knows no pain, knows no fear. And so now is the time for you to become fearless and let go of your past experiences so that you can raise yourself up and become that which you have always dreamt of being. And so it takes much courage to be a light worker at this time. Because you are now the way showers. And the way showers of the light workers are to have courage to do and to be and to have more. You have everything that you need and want and more. And so what is holding you back is the ego mind, the fear of change, of your internal change. And so the cellular memories from your parents, your grandparents and beyond are still inside of you. And so we understand. And that is why we need to speak with you about this so that you can find the courage within and let go. And not to be alone. Find like-minded people, be as a group, support each other, love each other. There is no competition here. There are 5 billion and counting people who are using the World Wide Web. There's enough people for everyone for you to attract 
raise your frequency as high as possible and your light will shine further and attract more people to you. And the people in your life who do not want to change, it's as if your light will be too bright for them and they will leave, but they will make room for people who are, who have been looking for you. And so this is the time ushering in for especially next year. For people to meet, finally come together. More and more people will find each other, soulmates, twin flames. Groups are coming together, like-minded groups people. And so this is how you can make a greater impact, a bigger change on humanity. Is by knowing who you truly are. And together you will find even more courage to do different things, to do things differently and to encourage each other and support each other. And as Goddess Touch, Touch is the acronym of the transmuting of the universal consciousness heart. And so the consciousness <laughs> of the heart is being felt more and more, is being known more and more by the light workers. This is your communication. This is your connection with yourself, with your divinity, with all. Not just humanity, but everything and everyone who is in this universe, in the planet, under the planet, above the planet and surrounding. And so you have been exposed to a little bit of the recalibration session. And we encourage you to continue. We are so honored to be here with you. And uh, we are ready to answer any of your questions. Anyone, don't all speak at once. Anybody have a question for the masters? Please unmute yourself. I have a question. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, where do they foresee um, what's going on um, with China and Russia right now? How do we prepare? Is there anything we need to be concerned about now that China, something happened last night? Okay, let's see. All right. The red 
continent represented by the dragons. China, yeah. Have correct. As well as the country that has been exuding force. That is the energy of Russia. What we see, what we have seen, and what we feel is the heaviness of these two peoples in form because this is the representation of what is going on beyond this galaxy. There are not just channelers and psychics and et cetera, et cetera, around us here, but also those who have created what is to be considered fantasy as the uh, Star Wars movies does exist. People have remote viewed and dreamt these working with the military, working with so many other psychics and people who know what is going on without telling, without informing the public, because it would be a calamity, as you know. And so the Star Wars are ending And in 2020, we'll just go back a few years. In 2020, the Illuminati were finally kicked out of this galaxy, of this universe. Especially, they were very. Uh, very honored, very uh, um, protective of planet Earth. Because you know, maybe you don't know, but planet Earth <clears throat> has an energy that attracts different pathways, different um, expressways, if you will. And there are places inside of planet Earth that are wormholes, that have wormholes. And so there have been wormholes that were created to go directly to the moon, to go directly to Mars. And so this is what they are fighting about. And as we were talking about the ego mind, these are two factions that cannot imagine anything else but winning. And they could be very cruel. And what will happen is because most of the world, most of this world and others beyond we are all coming together because you see, as you are, what you are doing, what you have created for the past two years and what you are creating even more so to do a weekly come together
is creating forces of light. And so these energies, these factions who want to control and dominate will be fighting each other and eliminating each other. Remember, the light always wins. Jeez. And so this is why we are here encouraging you, meditate, connect with your divinity, raise your frequencies daily so that your light can be engaging with others. This is the best way to heal anything and anyone is for you to radiate source. And as we say this radiate source, the radiation, the light moves up through your spine into your neck to communicate and into the highest of highs of yourself. So have no fear. The media always has something beyond, behind what they advertise. And the media is always for control and fearing of the masses. And so when you hear, whenever you hear something that is not of the highest, raise your frequency and send the light, send the light, bombard them with light so that they will no longer see the darkness of the other. There is enough energy in each one of you to light up a city. So radiate your light, your blinding light of love. When you think of something fearful, when you think or hear someone saying something that could bring on fear, or who are fearful. Reach inside of your heart and say, and give them a kind word. Give them a touch, touch their shoulder, say, don't worry, everything will be all right. Everything is working out, don't worry, trust. Have faith, faith is a wonderful word. And you do have many wonderful words in your vocabulary, as you have many harsh words. So choose the loving words, choose love. Thank you. That was an incredible, amazing question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was just remarkable. Do you have a question, Lynn? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess the, the, no, I mean, it, there was so much information that you, that you gave us, but I, what, what is going to, and maybe I missed it because I came in late. That's okay. Um, but what is the, what is going to actually help us turn the tides in this country? Did you speak about that? Because there's so much going on and there's so much, you know, being torn apart and so much darkness and fighting is just so intense. What is going on inside of you is the important thing. We just mentioned what you need to do. 
is to radiate that light inside okay. of you through the different techniques that we were speaking of. So we, re we recommend that you re-listen. This, this, these recordings will be available to all. And we, we recommend that you listen to it because everything that you hear, everything that you may see is all about fear. And when people mm -hmm. are in fear, their frequency is very low. It's all about control. It's all about not you reaching your highest level of light. So it's up to us. It's up to us to bring that level in. That's what I'm always working. Yeah. It's up that to us. It that can't change if we're not all on board with the change. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, you are here for a reason. I you know are here that. with all of us today, <laughs> even though you came at whatever time you made it. Well, the time got, I was supposed to be seven and then you got, so I'm sorry I missed the first half of your work, but I'll listen again because the time is important. perfect. The okay. timing is perfect. You are here. <laughs> it's really a, a gift. Your work is a gift. Thank you. And you are a gift. You are a gift to everyone. That is why we are all so pleased that there are groups and once again, we need to reiterate our greatest thanks to Sherry for her courage and resilience to continue with this offering on a monthly basis. And now we encourage you, everyone who hears this transmission live as well as who will be hearing this transmission through YouTube or in the future through other means. To join with us, with all of us, not just monthly, but now we have just heard today that uh, Sherry will be offering a weekly joining of the hearts. We always hear joining of the minds. Now we are not joining our minds. We need to join our hearts together in support, in support. Because as light workers, there is still the human form and the human form is very frail. The emotions are very frail or fragile. Mm -hmm. Even though there is much courage in each and every one of the human form, and especially as light workers, everyone now needs to be supportive rather than feel in competition with. Be supportive, be loving. And as I had mentioned, I'm coming back. Now. As I had mentioned, and they mentioned before, uh, there are 50, over 15 billion people, 5 billion, over 5 billion people who access social media. Mm -hmm. okay. So that means whatever you do, whatever you have to offer as a healer, as a psychic, as a channeler, as anything on YouTube or anywhere. And if you're not on YouTube, get there. Uh, it's, it's time to speak up. It's time for the exposure. You do cards, if you do whatever it is, you are here, whoever is listening to this, you are here to share your light in your own way. Whatever you choose. You want to sing a little song? That's your name. 
You need to sing. You need to sing to us. That's your name. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a beautiful whispering song, a lullaby, there are some people who will heal through your words, you see. Your voice is very important. Your voice is very important. You have a golden light that's coming out of your throat, my dear. And so it is time for you to put yourself out there. And with our support on Tuesdays and once a month, you will be able to help others and you will climb your own energy ladder from within. That is where the courage needs to be, it's from within. Everything is done from within. And so I would like to thank our beautiful friends, the Venusians, for their continued love and continued support. Namaste. Namaste, Maestro. Thank you so much. So I'm in room 11. If you need, um, if you have any more questions or if you have some comments or anything. So I'm going to be in room 11. And um, if you would like a, a, a personal reading, um, that's that's possible also, you know, for five minutes. The first five minutes is free. So thank you. Thank you, Carol. Before you take off, I think let's see if there's anybody who hasn't won a door prize. Because we still got we have some guests here and we want everyone to be a winner today. <laughs> We might, we, we might, they might win by default because <laughs> uh, we have a lot of winners here. Um, is anybody uh, interested in winning a prize with Carol? Sure. <laughs> but it goes to the guests first. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I would want a session with her. The only time I had a session... Yeah, did you do? Yeah, you did break down yeah. me and, and, and yeah, and in, in, uh, in the course. Yeah, that was well, really I had to, uh, well, I had to do your your um, your yeah. activations, your um, celebration. I can't I can't think right now because I'm I'm like out there. You're coming back. It's like my mind. It's like my mind is so filled with lights. There are no words. <laughs> no, isn't that amazing? Oh, I'm telling you, it's and it's. You know, if you listen to it from the beginning, uh, I talk a lot about how they came, how they came in and, you know, and the whole, the whole spiel, so. Oh, there is a couple of people who haven't won a door prize yet. So um, with the fact is everybody here could um, put their numbers in the chat, but the prize is going to go to the two women who have, uh, the women who haven't won yet. And if they post their number in the chat, then it might be between them. So I'm, I'm willing to do that because we still have some people who haven't won prizes yet. Okay. Oh, oh. we got to know, don't look at, don't look at the chat, write your number down on a piece of paper. And uh, anybody in the room, you can, uh, you know, post it. If you haven't won, you will get the be the closest person to win. Um, but it'll be fun to see how close you are because some people, um, I think Natalie, uh, Natalie hit a 33 today after a 33. So Natalie, you should probably just do a crapshoot to see if you if you get close to it. <laughs> <laughs> I think she. Uh, 33 is my number. We all love threes. Mm hmm. Okay, so um, guys, uh, put your number in the chat if you'd like to win a prize with Carol. And okay, um, I'm going to tell you, what? I'm going to tell what? you, what? if people have been listening to this, yeah. you will know the number because that is their number. Right. 
The Venusian number. Yep. So do you have it written down? Yep. Okay. Are you so ready? Yep. Back it up. Back it up. Can't see it. Move it away to your face. What is it? 11. No. One, one? No. Can't, can't see it. Can't read it. Looks like two oh. lines. 44? What is it? Yeah. See, it's got to be 44 because you've been talking about 44 for an hour. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So hello. Sherry wins. Well, no, we got a four in the in the chat there. We got Sammy. She heard four so much. She wrote four, but she okay. should have put four. Okay. So Sammy got half of it. So Sammy was listening. If you guys listen to the speakers, you know they're winning number because they'll just say it over and over because that's their thing. <laughs> she gave you a story for 10 minutes about a 44. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Didn't you remember how she got her 44s? <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you, Carol, for being here. And um, you guys can uh, go to Carol's room. I know uh, we will put you there. Vicki will transport you there, Carol, because I know you get challenged to move to the breakout rooms. And Sammy, you can uh, converse with Carol and exchange uh, communication. And then I'd like to introduce Lynn, who's up next. Thank you. Cool. Okay, Sammy. Congratulations. And let me just write your name down, Sammy. We got a number four out of 44. And then letting you guys four know that- my you... lucky number. <laughs> That's why I took yeah. four. I knew it was 44, but I, I took four. <laughs> yeah. Four is your lucky number? Yes, I like four. <laughs> Good. But I took four. Okay. Good for you. Well, thank you for coming and congratulations. And um, also, thank you, Carol. Thank you for being here. I cannot wait to listen because um, it, it's going to be a very powerful message. You're going to be at the New Life Expo on uh, the 8th, uh, 8th and 9th in Broward Convention Center. You're going to have a booth and you're going to be speaking. Yes. I believe. And my be booth is number 45. I can remember because it's nine, you know, completion. Aww, and yeah. I will be part of the psychic panel as well as I'm going to be talking about five ways, easy ways, it'll be channeled, of course, because I don't know what they want to talk about. Five easy ways on how you know you're awakening. Well, <laughs> record that and send it to us. <laughs> I'll be on stage. I'll try. You're going to have to do, do it with your phone. There you go. You're so on your smart. Phone. See, I, I know it too, but it's like I'm too spaced out right now. So anybody can take advantage. Do you want some money? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will be there. I, he has me working in the Zoom room. I'm going to actually be leaving my booth for almost half the day for two days. So I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. Oh, you need what volunteers. Time you, what time are you speaking? I don't know. He didn't tell me. Oh, it's on the schedule. Go to, go to the website. Oh, see? <laughs> <laughs> go it's to, on go Saturday. To, he told me it's on Saturday. Saturday, go to newlifeexpo.com. Um, click on, you know, speakers. Uh, go to Saturday. I'm on Saturday at one o'clock. I'm going to be talking about pendulums. And just like I'll be introducing tonight. Oh, wait. I have to show you. I received a pendulum for a gift. And I don't use pendulums, but no. this one, I checked it out and man, oh man, did it spin. It was like a helicopter. Oh Wait, yeah. Let me show you before I go, okay? <laughs> let me show you real quick. Sherry, we have to go, we have to move into the next time. Look at this. Let, let, let me hold it up. I can't see it. Big round thing. Oh, I, I think you have to. You have to get away from them. Move it closer to your go, face. Go back, back up, Carol, back By up. Face. By your face. Oh, okay. We can see it now. Oh, I've uh, seen that. It's before. all copper. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's emerald for the heart. Hmm. It's beautiful. How come it's not moving? Well, I didn't tell it to move. You have to ask it Give a question. Give me a yes. Give me a yes. Give me a yes. 
See? Yes is a circle. Give me a yes. Look at it. Come on, faster. Give me a yes. See? <laughs> you can't demand it move faster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like okay. I just wanted to share this with you. I, you know, before I forget. But okay, you can't, sorry, Lynn. You can't, you can't okay. tell the pendulum to say thank you and it will stop. Did you know that? Oh, a pendulum is part of us, right? Right. You say thank you. Okay, thank you. And it'll actually come to a complete stop. Yeah. Okay. Well, I put it down. So I put it to bed now. Okay. <laughs> okay I'll see you later. All right. Thank you. Bye. Right, bye. See you Tuesday. Yes, for sure. Cool.